What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Payne Plays Games videos. All right guys, so this one here is going to be for a future release of three big games that are dropping all on the same day and that is May 23rd. So I want to talk about these three games because these are possibly three games that I will be covering or at least one of the three for sure because all of them have been something I've been keeping my eye on and I want to explain to you guys what they are, show you guys a couple of trailers and maybe they'll pique your interest as well and get you excited for something coming out soon, right? So the first one is going to be Aether Gazer. Uh, so if you haven't heard of this, it's very similar to Punishing Grey Raven. If you haven't played that game, it's an action RPG, uh, linear style with very futuristic looking units and some badass combat. Uh, so I want to show you guys the trailer real quick before we get any further and see if this is something you might be interested in as well. This is the combat trailer 2 for the game, which is dropping May 23rd. Here we go. Now, when you watch this, you might have those feels. If you played Punishing Grey Raven, you're probably going to be like, this looks exactly like it, Payne. So why would I play this over Punishing Grey, which is actually out on PC? Well, something brand new, new adventures, new modes, new characters, new storyline, new combat system, right? So that's one of the reasons why I want to try this. Like, and it looks, I like, I love the atmosphere, love the characters. Uh, I like that everybody has obviously unique weapons, different combat styles. Uh, I know this game has uh, dual combos as well as ultimates that look ridiculously good. So I have not personally played this yet. I have only been keeping an eye on the trailers because I don't want to go into a game knowing too much because I like to be pleasantly surprised or not surprised, or I should say surprised and unpleasantly surprised because uh, I want to be able to judge a game right from the get-go on my own without anyone's influence. So that's why I'm showing you guys this just as a trailer rather than gameplay so you guys can kind of see what's what it's what it's all about through a trailer perspective and make your own decision when you actually try the game out but as you can see here looks pretty damn good and this is not even the final version right this is this is the version that was in beta so they are tuning it up a little bit combat wise and gameplay wise and graphically as well too the characters look so good Now, a couple of things that are going to make me want to continue playing this game. Number one, how much of a time does it respect? Like, is it is a game that I'm going to have to play all day long? Well, it looks incredible. There it is. Aether Gazer official release May 23rd. I, App, App Store and the, the, so the Apple Store and the Google Play Store, both of them are, are available. Uh, so Yostar is making this. Um, so if you haven't heard of them, um, I think they made a couple of other games similar to this. So check it out. That's Aether Gazer. You can still uh, register right now and get the pre-registration rewards on either store. Uh, definitely going to try this to see if it fills that hole that I have for action RPGs that I'm missing in my life. Uh, and again, I will stick around with it. If it's F2P free to play friendly, the combat system is great. It doesn't take up too much of your time to finish your dailies, etc. Um, the story's uh, addictive and the character design is, is fantastic. And lastly, of course, the most important thing, it's a fun game to play. So those are the three things. So this is game number one. Game number two is uh, Don Mashi here, Battle Chronicles. Now this one here, I, I love the anime, right? And I played... Uh, the the memoria uh, frieza memoria i think it was called for a little while which i actually enjoyed but this here is a different style of game so let's take a look at this one together as well i'm just watching this show i haven't seen the newest season i gotta go back and watch it if you have not seen this anime, I highly recommend it. It's a really, really good anime. Oh, Bell. These are all the different stages, I imagine. Yep, all the different environments. Combat is action RPG oriented as well. Different factions. I believe this is a three man team game. Couple bosses there. Mm 
Minotaur. Let's go. There you go, guys. So that is the Battle Chronicles. Oh, it's weird when your own video pops up afterwards. Um, so that was that one. So I'm very excited for that one. I actually want to try it out. It also comes out at the exact same time as Aether Gazer. So you might see quite a few videos come out that day. And lastly, this one is Outer Plane. Um, this is just a gameplay trailer here from... Um, uh, check, who's, the, who's, the, who's the person here doing it? Who's the person? Who's the person? Uh, not really sure who this person is, but here we go. Here's the gameplay trailer. So it is a turn-based RPG. I'm just going to go here. Outer Plane is a it's essentially a, a three-man, or maybe four even. I think maybe three, though. Turn-based RPG. Very very akin to what I like and what I like, enjoy playing. So not far-fetched for me to enjoy a game like this. So I'm going to try it out. I think it's very similar to another game that's out right now. Forgot the name of it, though. And I played it for a little while, and I enjoyed it. If I can only remember what it was. It's been out for a couple months now. Uh, where well, it's the same thing. It's a side sideways, three-man versus an enemy's can't remember the name of the game for some reason, honestly. But it's uh, graphically looks the same. Team-wise, it looks the same. But again, it's a turn-based RPG. Love those personally. So this is another one out of plane that I'll be watching out for and I'm doing some videos for. Again, it falls into the line of kind of games I enjoy. So this is a little different. This one is turn-based versus the other two, which were a little more action-oriented. But again, because I love turn-based RPGs, makes it a no-brainer for me to cover this one. Too. So this one also drops um, May 23rd. So out of plane, take a look, guys. I won't go any further here in terms of uh, gameplay. I just want to show you guys real quick what it's all about. Uh, you can see here, uh, typical hierarchy, DPS, tank, healer, trim-based RPG, fighting bosses, uh, you know, and it's it's waves of enemies. And then there's, of course, a storyline. Uh, there's a system of summoning uh, units, etc. right? There's summoning gear. So there you go. See, like, this is, for example, summoning something. There's a unit right there. Um, and yeah. So another game I'll definitely be covering also drops May 23rd. Like I said, check it out if you are looking for an RPG to play and you're not playing Honkai Star Rail because it's taking up all your time. Uh, these three here are going to be ones I will definitely be covering and hopefully you guys are interested to try them as well. And uh, as soon as they drop, you'll get some videos about introductions and gameplay, etc. and my thoughts on them uh, as they come out. All right, guys, Payne, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.